Hi, today we're going to start chapter 11 in math. It's called measurements. I'm going to turn my paper computer around so that you can see the book. All right, give me one moment. Ooh. Got a little dizzy there, right? Let's see, can you see the whole book? All right, measurement, chapter 11. Curious George says, a playground is an area designed for children to play. Look at the two people on the bench. Which person on the bench is bigger? Can you see the two people? We have, it looks like a little boy and we have an adult, probably mommy. When we look at that, we know mommy is bigger she goes above the bench more. She is bigger than the little boy. Mommy is bigger than the boy. We are going to be talking about measurement. Measurement is being able to tell time, how big something is, how little, how heavy, how light, how tall, how short. Those are all different measurements. The first thing we have in our measurement book is our first little quiz. Our first little quiz will be worth three points. So parents, you're gonna be letting us know how they did on their papers. If you ever need to look, remember at the bottom it says directions and it will tell you exactly what I am telling you. So first things first, always, always, good job, write your name. On number one, the red apple. Count how many pencils, write how many. Count how many crayons, write how many. We would like you to circle which set is fewer than the other set. Which set is fewer than the other set. Now on number two, you're going to be counting the paper clips and the crayons. Please count the paper clips, write how many. Count the crayons, write how many. On number two, where the sun is, circle the set that is has more objects than the other set. Which set has more than the other set? On number three, Count the blue cubes, write how many. Count the red cubes, write how many. On number three, you're gonna circle the number that has a greater, is a greater number than the other one. Circle the number that is greater than the other one. And we're gonna to turn to our next page. Our next page talks about vocabulary. Oh, right on top. Yep, you're right. I see. Write your name. So please write your name. On our vocabulary paper, we see the words bigger and smaller. When you look at the two flower pots, this flower pot is bigger than this flower pot, and this flower pot is smaller than this flower pot. We want to look at the bigger pot and the little pot, smaller pot up with the flowers. They want to know which flower pot has more flowers. Does the little flower pot have more flowers or does the big flower pot have more flowers? I hope you all said the little smaller flower pot has more flowers. Now, look at the mom and the little girl. I would like for you to tell your parents which one is bigger and which one is smaller. When you're finished, turn your page. We're, I'm going to show you how to play the game. The best thing to do with this is to get to play with someone on it. I had a mistake with my filming again, so I've already done this, but what I did was I took a piece of paper and I measured with my ruler 
one inch going this way, one inch going this way, and then I've cut so that I have my own cubes to get to play this game. Some of you have some cubes cut out. If you have them, definitely use them. All right, but there is our things. We need at least two game pieces because I'm hoping we're playing with someone. I'm going to play with you guys and me. I will let you guys be the diamond and I will be the blue stone. You will go first. So here's your shake. Four. One, two, three, four. Because you landed where there's a cube, you get to take one cube. Now it's my turn. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't get to get a cube because I didn't land where there's a cube. Two. One, two. Oops. No cube this time. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get a cube. Your turn. Six. Oh, you're copying me. Oh, we should count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. You get a cube. My turn. I'm all done. And one, you get a cube. And you are finished. All right. Let's compare our cubes. I have a one train cube. You have a one, two, three cube train. Who has the longer train? You have the longer train. You won this time. Nice job. Please play again and again. It's great for you guys to be able to count out your spots and learn how to count your cubes and compare them for longer and shorter. This is a vocabulary game. The vocabulary words are here if you need it. Shake, if it says heavier, you need to describe what is heavier with two different items. Again, the directions are right here. Now, tomorrow we will do hands-on 11.1. I hope you had fun with the introductions of chapter 11 measurements and we will continue with that tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye bye.